So I messed up a little bit. It turns out when it snows here, it, it snows a lot. And uh, well, that is the backyard rink right there without a liner in it. So now I have to shovel it, but no worries. I've got Luna and Mason to help me out. Mason, you gonna help shovel? Yummy so. And yummy so. Start shoveling. Here we go. Are you okay? I eat it! Alright, that should do it. Now you just gotta put the liner in, fill it, wait for it to freeze. This is the type of job you should probably do with a friend, but uh, let's see if I can pull it off. I think I'm in Narnia. Let's see if I just retrace my steps. I just, uh, oh, yep, there's the rink right there. Okay, good, not in Narnia. Just have to go grab my hose. Hopefully, this isn't frozen. Come on, hose, give me some water. We have water. <laughs> And now we just sit here for about six hours until this thing fills. It's been about an hour. Let's see how much water we got in there. Water well, looks a little murky. So when the water's coming out that color, it might mean I'm sucking from the bottom of the well. With the fear of running my well dry, I had to get creative with a jeez. Oh, with a secondary source. Ow! <laughs> with a secondary source of water. And uh, that's when I remember there's an old well back here in the woods. It's like 150 years old probably. I'm gonna take a look and see if there's some water in there. This is a death trap here, covered up with uh, some skids and an old tarp. Take a look down inside. And this is where the creature that's been banished to the well a thousand years ago escapes and haunts our family. Let's take a look down there. A little dark, let me get a light here. Shine a little light down there. Oh yeah, it looks like there's some water. Oh shoot, just dropped my cell phone down the well. Just kidding, it was my wife's phone. No, it was a rock. Luna, come on. So now all I need is a sump pump, a long extension cord, and a hose. Where am I gonna find that? Oh, well there it is. Let's go rig this thing up. Time to fill the ring. Looking good so far. We're on the home stretch. We got some slack. Let's take the most direct route. It's getting a little tight. Come on. We are there. Woo! Let's pump some water. Well, it's not exactly gushing out of there, but I'll leave that going all day and we'll see how much we got in there. <laughs> all right, it's been a few days. We're gonna check on the backyard rink. Oh, no. Okay, I already gave it a little bit of a check, but it was a bit warm. When it gets warm, the top is gonna get a little bit soft. Don't walk on it, don't try to clear it. Don't mess with mother nature. She always wins. So wait until it gets cold before you clear it, which is what we're gonna do right now. Definitely frozen solid. Boards are holding up just fine. The problem is, the ice underneath is not that great. That's because it snowed and then melted and then froze. It. So you got this crusty stuff. All you gotta do is clear all the snow off the top, put a few layers on, and you're gonna have some nice smooth ice. And there's one more tip that I'll give you to get really, really smooth glass-like finish. Let's clear this off. <laughs> okay, buddy. Awesome. Whoa. Awesome. Cheers to snow cookies.
Any larger pieces of snow that get left on the ice, if you freeze them into the ice, they end up being really big tripping hazards. This is what happens if you walk on it when it's snowy or slushy. Your boot prints will get frozen in there and that makes it really hard to get it nice and flat. So don't walk on it when it's slushy. Remember you're gonna do a few layers. So put some on, wait for it to freeze, come back out. And your very first one that you do, like this one, there's gonna be a lot of slush and rough stuff. So it won't hurt now to put a layer of water on and then grab the shovel and just kind of scrape all the slush off. That'll just help smooth it out a little bit. After that though, right when you put the water on, you don't wanna step on it or shovel it because you're just gonna create more bumps than you take out. If we get down low, you'll be able to see the smooth parts is where the water's sort of sitting. Those are the high parts where it's kind of rough, so I'm just gonna hit those, uh, kind of knock them down with the shovel, and then the next layer go on real smooth. That's looking a little better. We're gonna bring the hose in, we're gonna wait a few hours, and we're gonna come out, and we're gonna do it all again. We are back, it's almost Christmas Eve, and I put a few layers on here. What is beneath? Oh yeah, that's pretty good. I can work with this for sure. The rink is cleared and it's surprisingly smooth. We could skate on it, there's a few bumps here and there, but uh, I'm gonna show you guys the magic trick to the glass-like finish. Right now, let's go. Oh. oh, hey guys. Don't worry, didn't just escape from a psychopath's basement. This is my own basement. Let me show you what I'm doing down here. Now, oh, hold on, first I am going to need this. This is my hot water tank, hot water on demand. This is the valve, and what we're gonna do is hook up this hose to this valve, crank it on, that's the secret to glass-like ice. You gotta put hot water on it. It's going! Let's get this thing done. There's a few kinks in the hose, but that doesn't really matter. You don't want it to be uh, coming on too much at once anyways. You just want to put a thin layer on. The nice thing about the hot water is that any of the snow that's on top, the little bumps and stuff, it's going to melt that really quick, and then it's going to freeze really nicely on there. There's still a few bumps here and there, but when you skate on them, you're gonna knock them down, oh, yeah. right? Through skating and putting the pressure on. So just by skating on it, you're gonna make the surface better. Yeah, I think I'll smooth it. Kind of a good technique. Well, there's my journey on how I built a backyard rink. It's a lot of work, but it's definitely worth it, especially with the uh, young kids at home. One more tip to leave you with is when you're maintaining your rink, keep the snow off of it. Once the snow starts to build, if you leave it for a few days, if it gets a little warm, it creates a little bit of insulation and heat, and then you can get that slush underneath between the snow and the ice, and that can cause a lot of problems. So if you keep it cleared and you get a nice sunny day, that sun can actually melt the top layer and give you a really smooth surface without you having to do anything. So keep the snow off. Uh, it's a lot of work, but it's definitely worth it. Nothing beats the convenience of being able to lace them up in your backyard and just go for a skate whenever you want. Thanks a lot for watching the video. Hit that subscribe button because I make new hockey videos every single week. See you guys in the next video.